Well, that chilly October afternoon wasn't enough to scare off trick-or-treaters today. Uh, temperatures hovered around freezing in South Minneapolis, so kids were they bundled up as they went door to door in search of candy. Just down the road, other families took a non-traditional route to stay warm and have fun. WCCO's Jeff Wagner has the tale of two Halloweens. <laughs> Bone chilling might be an exaggeration. Hey, Sullivan. But it definitely wasn't a warm Halloween for families hunting for candy. Say trick or treat. Up and down Minneapolis streets. It's cold, yeah, but it's not that bad. The sun came out, it feels pretty good. It's a tradition on this block where three at home daycares come together for their annual trick or treat party. Happy Halloween. And near freezing temps weren't going to stop these animals. Crazy. It's Minnesota weather. You got to be used to this. But that doesn't mean you have to tolerate it. We're Minnesotans, but you have to draw the line somewhere, right? And so it's the mall apparently tonight. There you go, Dorothy. Happy Halloween. Southdale Mall hosted one of many indoor Halloween parties across the Twin Cities where kids went store to store instead of door to door in search of sweets. It's been too cold. <laughs> I mean, like last night, it was so windy. It's like I couldn't imagine going outside for an hour, hour and a half with this wind. Inside, costumes kept their true form. Back outside, the brisk air forced parents to winterize their kids' outfits. And then underneath, we just got the little layers underneath, just them all warm. The cold is no laughing matter. <laughs> But on this night, it just wasn't scary enough to keep people from enjoying a sidewalk stroll. Boo! All right, clearly I'm not that scary, but get a load of these animatronics at the Nodding House in Lakeville. These things are insane, and the cold weather is affecting them too. Even though they're moving, the homeowner is telling me that it's so cold. Is his cables are freezing up and locking up some of these machines. And in addition to that, he looks like he has a ton of animatronics on his property, but he said he would have even more if it wasn't so cold out. And it has turned freezing since I did that story earlier this afternoon, Chris. I'm telling you, the kids enjoyed this earlier today. I don't think they'd want to be walking around here at this hour with how cold it is. That is wicked, Wagner. I've got to step up my game. I love it. Yeah, definitely a cold Halloween. I mean, you have to go back 15 years to find one colder than this, where we had a high of 34. Today's high, oh boy, one degree warmer, 35, upper 20s across all of northern Minnesota. A definite chill in the air, but that didn't stop the kids. We will be shifting gears, though, guys. It's back to snow talk for the 1st of November. Winter weather advisory that does include parts of the Twin Cities. I'll tell you when the snow arrives and how much we can expect right here in the metro. You a little jealous of that Lakeville yeah, I, house? I am very jealous. That was awesome. <laughs> Wasn't it great? Yes. yes. It looks fabulous. Thanks, Chris. <laughs>